to get by those cars. Is anybody else going to peel off? Because it was there's a message about car 10 as well. That should start in the main grid. But they're all over the place here at the start of the race. We are racing for the European Le Mans Series at Le Castellet. Well, that looked to me to be a start that will require some investigation. their way through the S-Bend at Ferrari, and I really do mean bouncing because Henrik Hedman has spun in the middle of the road, but there were three cars straight lining the blue striped section of the track, which is considered not to be the track at all. It's been a good getaway for Vlad Lomko, that's entirely what he would have been wishing, but there was nobody level with him, side by side across the grid it should have been, and level with the grid hatchings. We'll find out in a, well, probably about half an hour as to what that uh, was all about, but uh, the number three car has gone into the race now. Now, I thought from starting from the pit lane, you would have to start a lap down as well, but the DKR engineering car of Tom von Rompuy is behind the 81, which was the Henrik Hedman early spinner in the white with the dark blue and stars from the Star Spangled Banner Dragon Speed car. No, he's still on pit lane, uh, the number three car, unless you saw him leaving. Well, he's only just arrived because that P wasn't there 10 seconds yeah, ago. Uh, there's something a bit odd about that. 81, by the way, Henrik Hedman has got away from that spin and did not appear to have suffered contact. Oli Jarvis is up to 27th position already from 41st on the grid. He's already basically passed all of the GTE cars, but Vlad Lomko is building a nice little gap here of a second as the battle is on now between Edex Sport and Algarve Pro Racing. So it's Paul Lafargue, the silver-rated driver, installed for the first stint, and Bar Barbadian driver Kiffin Simpson to the inside, number 65, and uh, Panis Racing, sorry, Mal 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 Maldonado, I should say, in the 65 car. So Kiffin Simpson has dropped a little further behind, it would appear. Paul Lafargue and Manuel Maldonado running second and third now, with Simpson in there in fourth. Yeah, Vlad Lomko well away here, and uh, unsurprisingly, race started into the T100 investigation. That will include, by the way, whether or not those cars straight-lined Turn 1, followed the race director's instructions as to how they should rejoin. We saw plenty of that yesterday, didn't we, in uh, the Michelin Le Mans Cup? It's uh, Lomko from Lafar, Kiffin Simpson and Manuel Maldonado. He's watching for the progress of those delayed cars as well. Now the DKR engineering car of Tom Van Rompuy yeah. leads the pit, leaves the pit lane. I'm still not convinced that we only had the one pit lane visitor at it the start was, of the race. One. It was the one well, behind the, three the safety wasn't car. wasn't being shown in the pit lane for it, a spell. That, I think, was a glitch. It was definitely the three I saw pulling off. We'll get, we'll get many replays of the start and uh, exactly when the three car entered pit road. It is a journey from turn 13 to actually get to the timing loop at the start of the pit lane, so that can take some time as well. Speed limit on the pit lane entry road, so before you get into the pits itself, is 80 kph, exactly the same as a full course yellow, and then it's down to 60 once you're into pit lane proper. Three and a half seconds now for 18-year-old driver, who is an authorised uh, neutral athlete. You can probably work out which country Vlad is from, therefore. Uh, but cool racing car number 47 leading convincingly by Paul Lafargue uh, from uh, Paul Lafargue's Edex Sport car, the number 28. And then it's Kiffin Simpson who's got ahead now of Manuel Maldonado. So 65 Panis Racing does lose a spot on that last lap around. Fastest lap of the race to the race leader, Vlad Lomko, and he's got a big lead there. 4.3 seconds across the, the line as Kiffin Simpson looks.